Five years ago, the village of Vorben near Biel voted in favor of the free movement of people. But opinion has since changed. 70% voted in favor of bringing back quotas for foreign workers. So what changed? I think people suddenly started worrying about the masses of people we will have in 10 or 20 years. I voted in favor. My impression is that we need to sort things out. Many freehold apartments have been built. In the past, there were more family homes. So now there are more apartment buildings and people no longer know each other. The former farming village is transforming from a village to a suburban community. In the old village center, there are plans to build high density buildings. The plan is to build multi-family homes along this street with space for businesses on the ground level. It will start here, where the white building is, and go all the way to the yellow building at the end. According to political scientist Claude Longchamp, the conditions in Vorben are typical of many Swiss-German suburban communities. It's common for suburban communities in the German-speaking part of Switzerland to have changed sides. Not long ago, they were more in favor of the free movement of people. Now, they're mainly against it. This map shows where opposition to the free movement of people increased by over 10 percent. There's a clear trend in the populous area west of Bern and in eastern Switzerland. Journalist Matthias Daum has recently published a book on Swiss suburbia. He says the suburbs are Switzerland's engine of growth. The suburbs show the strongest development. The differences in life between city and countryside can lead to some friction and fear. People start to feel uncomfortable about growth and strong changes taking place on their doorsteps. Rural villages are turning into suburbs. Old farmhouses are being replaced by high-density buildings and more people are forced to commute between their suburban homes and city centers. People commuting to Bern have to travel on packed trains. It's small details like this one that can influence the way people vote. Growth worries people. In some regions, things have changed extremely fast. Some villages have been completely transformed and nothing's the same as five or ten years ago. The suburbs have become the decision makers. Are these suburbs becoming more conservative? It's a trend that is stronger with some topics than with others. It's strong when it comes to socio-political issues. Here, the Swiss People's Party has managed to win a majority in the suburbs.